uh, Needles' backyard here at the Helderberg Trails in Somerset West to reveal, ride and review this brand new Scott Genius. The Genius is the brand's mid-travel trail weapon and this latest edition features the same integrated shock as the brand's XEO World Championship winning Spark. Scott tells us their focus was on building a lightweight and stiff chassis and they wanted to retain the DNA of the outgoing model. We're testing the Genius Super Trail model which is oh so similar to the standard Genius with some minor tweaks to optimize the descending element of trail riding. Quick word from our sponsors. If you're thinking of upgrading and need to sell your used bike first, check out bikemarket.co.za. Their service is incredible. They buy bicycles, pay the same day, and collect from you. It's a 29er specific ride with a 150 rear and 160 fork. Head angle adjustability ranges between 64 and 65 through the headset cups. The seat angle is 77.2 degrees. There's four frame sizes on offer with reach numbers stretching from 430 to 510. Some neat features include extra seals on the exposed pivots, an integrated cockpit, and a scene on the spark and integrated shock. Weight wise, your dollars will get you something as light as 12.8 kg or right up to 15.8. Frame and mounting hardware on this model is a wildly light 2,295 grams. Well, there you have it. You've had a look at the Genius, and uh, the minute I got on this bike, I was blown away. Uh, I've had a lot of time on the old Genius, incredible trail bike, but as technology you know, improves, the modern trail bike has progressed. It's moved a little bit more to the downhill segment. What they've done is they haven't lost the climbing capabilities. This is the ST model, Super Trail. Obviously, someone like me comes from a downhill background. I definitely enjoy the downhill more than the uphill but I'm not losing anything with this model. With this integration, I can notice more stiffness around the bottom bracket. So when you really attack on the downhills, you've got that stability. So that's really nice for me. And then for someone that says, oh, but I'm not a downhiller. Well, the normal bike, the normal Genius is such an all round bike. Sometimes people say, well, if it's all round, does it do anything that well? It does everything so well. And then you've got the headset cups that you can just change in a matter of almost seconds. If you end up in the Alps, make it a bit slacker. If your local trails are flatter, make it a bit steeper. So I think the integration, what they've done is not just to look good and hide the shock and help you with cleaning and, and, and. It actually really helps with the performance. So that's cool. And uh, it looks pretty damn good if you ask me. The shock is integrated inside the frame for a few reasons. Cool and clean aesthetics. It is hidden from dirt and the elements. It allows for a stiffer construction of the BB area which improves pedal performance and the center of gravity is lowered which improves handling. Also, the shock's linkage is a spline construction with larger bearings to better deal with torsional forces that can shorten shock life and hurt performance. Accessing the shock is through a down tube door which pops open with a button. What's also cool is this revised all-mountain version of the Syncross Hexon one-piece cockpit. The bars are 800 mm wide with a 25 mm rise. There's 40 or 50 mm stem options and the bars have an aggressive 7 degree back sweep. Weighing 327 grams, it has a variety of mounts available to integrate your Garmin, Wahoo, Fit Lights or a GoPro. So the three things I really like about this bike. First of all, there's no lockout on the fork, it's, which is great. It cleans up the cockpit and it's really not needed on a bike like this. Then the shock has three modes. Climb firms up the compression and improves dynamic climbing geometry. Ramp control setting closes one of the air chambers for a more progressive feel for things like flow lines. And then descend mode opens both air chambers so it's a little easier to use all the travel when you're plowing through rough lines. Third thing I really like about the bike is Scott says there are over 600 layers of carbon creating what they call a stiffness zone down low 
and a lightweight zone up high. And I think maybe I've drunk all the Kool-Aid, but I can really feel that on the bike because the ride characteristic of this bike for me is both planted and poppy. I think it's good, eh? I think it's really playful on the trail and super light when you're climbing. Um, I think a lot of people in South Africa are going to be very impressed with this bike. Uh, we've got more detailed review on the site for you, so check that out, bikenetwork.co.za. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Big thanks to Andrew and Helderberg Trails for letting us play out here. See you on the trails. And maybe I've drunk too much of the Kool-Aid, but honestly, I really think that that transfers into, I just can't do another take. Okay, I've just read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've... <laughs> I caught that up. <laughs>